So Isaac, what can you tell me about um, the evolution of our native birds and the absence of mammals? Because we have mammals here in New Zealand now. Um, so 80 million years ago, New Zealand was finally isolated off Australia. The thing is though, we never got mammals, so birds here never evolved to um, adapt against mammalian predators. The only land mammals in New Zealand were bats, though we did also have sea lions and stuff, but that doesn't really count. But the main thing is, birds are the last remnant of the dinosaurs, and birds have dominated New Zealand for like 85 million years since it split off from Australia. So it truly is the last holdout of dinosaurs in the world, as it's a completely avian dominated area with avian predators and avian prey only, really. And so in the absence of mammals then, with our birds evolving, I'm guessing they haven't developed defence against them, natural defence. No, they have not. And so the only real native birds even have a chance against introduced pests are things like Pukeko, Harrier Hawks, and those mammals that came from recently from Australia in order to colonize this area they have adapted to more mammalian based things like in Australia but even then they have slowly lost that ability with the colonization of New Zealand okay and then uh, I'm guessing um, what what about the nesting habits of our native birds what why does that um, make them vulnerable? a lot of them actually nest on the ground so it's means that like saddleback he he robins they all nest towards the forest floor and this means they're extremely vulnerable to being eaten by larger birds and also but also to rats, stoats, cats as cats are actually the biggest predator in New Zealand and the biggest threat to our native ecosystem despite being the little, least talk about predator talked about predator in New Zealand um, I understand that uh, there's there's a bit of a balance that develops between cats and mustelids and rats and because there's no rats and mustelids here now um, what does that potentially mean for our birds with the cats it means the cats will unfortunately start to predate the birds instead of the rabbits which are the usual prey rabbits mustelids rats mice and with a de ever decreasing population of those kind of things What's going to happen is they're going to have to turn to hunting our native birds, which are already in a pickle. And it's going to make it slowly worse for them if we don't control our cats right. in this ecosystem here. But, but despite that, we've still seen uh, large increases in our native birds. What, what birds in particular have we been seeing here since the, since the trapping program started? Um, wax eyes, tui and fantail are the big ones they're also cortati and falcon are also doing very well here what, what about the dominant bird that we get woken by every morning can you tell me a bit about that the tui the tui the tui are very loud and very well populated here now due to them being bigger and being up to the 